Cosmetic and animal testing in the UK. In the UK, animal testing on cosmetic products and their ingredients was banned in 1998. That's 25 years ago. 15 years in 2013 later, as part of being in the EU, a sales ban was put into place across the UK and the EU. However, this government is undermined in this ban. PETA has been warning consumers for years that these two important pieces of legislation are being undermined, and we've previously demanded action from the Home Office. We've also wrote to all MPs asking them to insist the government enforce the ban on selling cosmetic products tested on animals and ensure that the cosmetics are brought to market without new tests on animals. How is this ban being undermined? Firstly, Companies can sell products in the UK even after they have been injected into guinea pigs, forced down rats' throats or applied to rabbits' eyes in China or other countries, as long as the tests aren't used to demonstrate product safety for the UK. This means companies may continue to pay for experiments on animals in China, where they are required for many products, as long as they feature only data from non-animal methods in the UK paperwork. Secondly, now the Home Office has confirmed that it intends to permit animal testing for cosmetics in the UK. As we've previously reported, the European Chemicals Agency introduced guidance contrary to the existing EU regulations against animal testing for cosmetics by requiring new tests on animals for certain chemicals, even though they are used exclusively as cosmetics ingredients. And instead of holding firm, the Home Office is set to confirm that it will follow. Such a policy will undermine the current rules banning animal testing for cosmetic ingredients and goes against the original intention of creating them to ensure that animals no longer suffer and die for the sake of cosmetics. Thirdly, safety test regulatory agencies claim that tests are needed to demonstrate safety for workers who manufacture or handle the substance. Yet, the ingredients in question have long history of safe use by consumers and have been handled safely in factories for many years. What's more, testing ingredients on thousands of animals won't help protect workers. Fundamental biological differences between humans and other animals means the results of the experiments on animals just don't reliably predict what will happen in humans whereas humane and human-relevant non-animal methods do. Following its exit from the EU, we hoped the UK would take a stand against animal testing, but disappointingly, the government has failed to rule out such tests on animals for cosmetic ingredients under the UK chemicals regulatory regulations. What can you do to help? Do your part by always using cruelty-free products. Look for the Leaping Bunny logo and also the Vegan Society logo. They will assure you that your products are cruelty free. Boycott those that are not. Better still, load the Cruelty Cutter app on your phone and scan the barcodes as you shop. This will tell you instantly if the goods you are buying are cruelty free. Join our campaign and tell everyone to go cruelty free shop. Stop buying goods and products that are tested on animals. Thank you.